Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, today I have my monthly favorites. Um, if you're new to monthly favorites, it's basically where I go through um, all the products that I've been loving and using this month. So just to warn you, if you want to go get a snack, I'm all for it because this is going to be a long video. I have quite a few things to talk about. They're mainly hair care products. Um, almost like all of them are hair care, maybe two, three makeup items, but they're all hair care. Just because um, I've discovered a bunch of new hair care stuff this um, month, I'm such a hair product junkie, like you have no idea. Um, I just love stuff for the hair. I don't know. I have problems. I know. Anyways. Um, yeah, let's just jump in and get started. Um, starting off with shampoo and conditioner. This month, um, I discovered uh, some, well, I wouldn't say discovered, I would say rediscovered. And the reason I'm saying that is because like a year ago, if not maybe two years ago, I tried this brand and it's the, um, it's the Organics brand. And um, I tried the coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. Um, I tried it a while ago, like I said, and um, I was so disappointed. I wanted to like it so, so bad because I love coconut and I love the smell of coconut in your hair. And I just really wanted to like it. But it left my hair feeling like straw. And I was like so upset because I was like, I wanted to like it so bad. But anyway, so I was kind of disappointed. So I never gave it a try again. After I finished the bottle, I was just kind of done with it. And then a couple of months ago, I tried um, from the same brand, Organics, but the Moroccan Argan Oil, I think it was. And that stuff was great. So um, when I ran out of my shampoo and conditioner last month, I said, well, let me give the Organics brand one more try. And I um tried again the coconut milk well this time I don't know if they reformulated their um, sh um products or the shampoo and the conditioner because now it was amazing I was so impressed by them one it smells amazing um two I love this brand because it's supposed to be um without it's supposed to be sulfate free um so that I like, and it's just supposed to have like organic and good ingredients. Obviously, I mean, I read the back of it and they're not like 100% the best products ever. Uh, best ingredients, I mean, but it's, it's decent. I mean, it's all right. And, um, I really, really ended up liking these. Um, I got the big sizes um, this month because I finished the um, the small sizes it comes with. And um, I just fell in love so much with this. And the smell will linger in your hair for days upon days if you don't wash it. And that's always a plus. Um, I try to wash my hair every two days. I, you know, they say it's so bad to wash your hair every day. And I know that it's true, but sometimes it's just, it gets really hard because because sometimes I go running or working out or walk with my dog and I get sweaty and gross and it's like I feel like I have to wash my hair and I know it's not the best for it but having a shampoo conditioner that's this moisturizing and feels it and makes it feel this soft is a great thing um you could get this at the drugstore you can also get these at Ulta this is where I got the big sizes because the small sizes they only sold it at my local Target but um I was able to get the really big sizes they are a little on the pricey side not gonna lie I'm sure it varies from place to place and depends on where you live but for me it was about 15 bucks I know for a drugstore shampoo I know it could be a little expensive but I figured since I love so much I would just commit to the big ones um so yeah I I really like the shampoo and conditioner this line has really done my hair right and I'm so thankful for it because I really really like it and going along with the coconut um organics line I discovered also their split split ends mender and it's the same from the same line same everything um the only difference is that this goes after you wash your hair you put it in your ends and it's supposed to help your ends without splitting and all that good stuff it has tons of um different oils and proteins and um it has a mixture of coconut oil and um keratin in it as well um keratin is one of those things that you need to be really careful with because you need it to make your hair strong 
but if you do too much of it, it will leave your hair feeling like straw. So keratin is something that you really have to be careful about and how you use it. Um, don't use it, I mean, not use it at all is bad, but using too much can also be bad. So you need to find a happy medium for your hair um, of how much amount you need to use for yourself. So yeah, I've been loving this stuff. I think it's been working out great. I don't use it every single time I wash my hair. Maybe I do it like once a week only, but I do feel like it's been making a big difference because honestly, I, I don't really have split ends at all. And, you know, you would think, oh, your hair is so bleached and, you know, but no, even though my hair has been really ble bleached, it's been so healthy. And I honestly think it's this healthy. Um, just, I mean, if you could tell, it's very shiny and it's just, it's transformed my hair, this, and then the, um, the shampoo and conditioner with this stuff, it's just been working amazing. And going along those lines of, you know, diff hair stuff that has been doing me good um i love this john frida um frizz ease daily nourishment leave-in conditioner and this is also a detangler i love products that are kind of a two-in-one type of thing um you just spray a little bit of this when your hair is wet and it detangles your hair which is a plus um the longer my hair starts getting i notice the more tangles it gets and it's just a little frustrating and you don't want to be pulling and tugging on your hair because that's horrible for your hair so i spray a little bit of this it's a leave-in conditioner so it conditions your hair at the same time it detangles so it's an amazing product honestly these like items that i've been using i've noticed such a huge difference in my hair and i'm so happy and the best part is that they're all all drugstore um, products that you can just buy at your local Target, Walgreens, I mean just whatever you want to, um, wherever you want to get your drugstore stuff. So, um, and I've also noticed it doesn't leave my hair frizzy or um, with flyaways, nothing like that. So I noticed that this stuff has really, really made a difference. I really, really like it and I've been really impressed with this stuff. So yeah, um, the next part, I was going to, um, tell you guys if you want to see like a full on hair care video on basically what I do to shampoo what I do to conditioner my mask and just see me like you know use everything how I blow dry my hair and just basically a, your hair care routine completely I could do that for you I could definitely do a video like that for you guys if you guys want to see that give me a thumbs up or um leave it in the comments below I will sure to um check that out and make sure to do a video for you guys like that um next we're gonna jump in into uh skincare i have um just one skincare item but this is a rediscovery again that i um i used to use this many 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 years ago when i was a teenager when i first started like doing my skincare and all that stuff and it's the saint ives uh, fresh skin apricot scrub um this stuff was amazing then and it's amazing now i don't even know why i stopped using it um you know sometimes you just kind of like get bored of, well at least i do i get so quickly bored of things and i just want to try something new but i've gone back to this and i don't even know why i stopped using it if it was just this amazing and this great honestly um it's very it's a deep exfoliate so it does go a very deep and um um, it smells great. It makes your skin so soft and it looks bright. It looks more healthier, like more glowy. Um, it just makes my skin look and feel amazing. And I'm so happy with the scrub. Um, I only use it twice a week just because if you scrub way, way too much, it cannot be good for your skin. But um, twice a week, I think it's very good. It also depends on how much makeup I wore that week. I um, mean, there'll be weeks where, I mean, days that I don't really if I'm not filming and I'm not going anywhere, just chilling at home, I really won't put any foundation on. Like, what's the use? But if I'm filming, I'm running errands or whatever, of course, I put on my face. So, um, so if it's one of those weeks, then definitely maybe I use it like an extra day just to make sure I clean up all that gunk and really inside my pores. But if not, twice a week, even sometimes once a week, if I went through the whole week actually wearing nothing, then just once a week is good enough. Um, I love that it's, um, formulated with that parabens um it's non-comedogenic -com i can't say that 
sorry, but basically it won't clog your pores. Um, so yeah, and this one is the deep exfoliant, but they also have a gentle one and like a medium one that works just as great. They have different smells and all that good stuff. So definitely I think it's a must to check out. It has an Allure's Choice um, award winner um, up here. So obviously a lot of people that um, love Allure love this product and they obviously nominated for a reason. It was because this is just an amazing product. So it's great. I love it. Okay. Enough said. Um, the next product I got is also skincare slash makeup type of thing it's the pores no more pore refiner primer by dr um brent brent it i don't know i will have it listed below i can't say it but anyways it's just a primer um to put on obviously before your foundation it's a very minty smell which I really like. I actually, I got this in my last month Ipsy bag. Well, I will also have linked below. It's an amazing, you know, subscription um, bag to get. It's really affordable and you get amazing new products to try out. So um, I have made other videos on Ipsy and I've opened like an unboxing Ipsy. I will also have that bit linked below in case you kind of want to get familiar to what that is. Um, so yeah, so this, I really like it. It's like a flesh colored, but it really, um, it feels like any other primer. It's um, very like silicone based. It's a little bit thicker than usual um, primers, but I feel like it really does um, leave your skin looking very smooth and soft and it's a perfect um, base for your foundation to go on top. So I've been loving this so, so much. Um, as soon as I'm done with this, which is, I, I think I might be pretty done very quickly. Um, I'm definitely going to go buy a new one of these because I really loved it. Um, so yeah, I don't know where I'm going to buy it yet. I'll just probably look it up online. And if I find it anywhere, I will link it below for you guys. But yeah, I've been loving this. And the last product I have is the Oh, no, it's not the last. Semi-last. Um, the Real Techniques, um, basically, I wouldn't call it a beauty blender, but it's kind of like a beauty blender. Very similar. Same, same, um, theory behind it. You wet it, you scrunch it, and then you stipple your foundation concealer on. It has a three, it kind of has, like, three different sides to it. So the top flat part, it's, um, made to contour around your eyes and your nose um and then the sides of it which is obviously the sides of it it's meant to um blend foundation like all over your face and then the tip covers imperfections so if you want to do like concealer which I use the tip especially for concealer like under my eyes or around my nose or anything like that it works great um this is the girls who did this is Sam and Nick Chapman, and I love these girls. They, um, they're they in the back. They're also very big. They're Pixie Woo on YouTube, here on YouTube, and they're they're really great. They have a whole um, brush line, which is also, their brushes are really, really great, and their prices are super affordable, which I love. Um, like the Beauty Blender, I believe it's like $20, $21 with tax, something like that, in the 20s, and this was only $5.99, like 6 bucks. so it's way more affordable and it works just as great if not a little bit better so um yeah you need to try this I just um I I bought a new one that's why it's in the packaging but my my old one I still have it it's just that I like to have um several because sometimes I get lazy and don't wash it and you know so that's that but yeah I've been loving this so much and I've been using it for quite a while now but I just I had to mention it before and I was just kind of like uh yeah I need to mention this because I had bought a new one and I really like it um last product is going to be um the CoverGirl True Blend Liquid uh, Makeup liquid foundation um mine is an m4 sand beige <coughs> sorry guys so yeah um i've been loving this foundation so much if you are a dry skin girl let me tell you if you listen to nothing before and if you listen to nothing after 
listen to this because this is an amazing foundation if you have very dry skin it will leave you dewy and glowy um but it just gives you an amazing finish and it gives you very nice full coverage with still leaving your skin looking like skin i mean you can still see a little imperfections here and there uh, especially on my forehead which is where i have like holes and just imperfections and they they're kind of there, but not really, and um, it just looks like skin. It, I just love this foundation overall. It's an amazing foundation, and I also love that they have tons of different colors to choose from, so they have a big range to just kind of, so you can find your perfect shade, which I love, and again, it's an amazing price because I, you can get it at the drugstore, so this stuff is great, great, great. Um, let me tell you really quick what I am wearing on my lips today. And this is actually a combo that I've been doing quite a lot. Um, it's the MAC Lip Liner in Night Moth. So that's what that looks like. I love this color. It's very similar to my nails. And um, NYX Lipstick in Chaos. Just a bright red one. It's really pretty. And I topped it, making it glossy with um their lip gloss in plush red this is their mega shine lip gloss you can see this look at that it's it's so pretty i really like it so yeah that's the lip combo i have on today um i've been really loving it i actually did a makeup tutorial um on this look which will probably be going up sometime next week I'm assuming uh, I'm not sure but it will be up but everything that you know I mentioned will be listed below like always my blog will be linked below so you can go check out pictures and reviews and just different stuff that I have going on there I haven't been that good I admit on um, like posting every single day like I had promised but just like sometimes just life takes over and that's okay but I'm working on it I'm trying to post a, a lot more often now and I will be working on it so yeah like always my show, social media will be linked below as well and yeah thank you so much for watching and until next time bye guys Thank you.